I want to continue my discussion of option strategies by talking about ratio spreads and ratio back spreads. Now, a ratio spread is a neutral strategy. What do we mean by that? We mean that you're not expecting the price to rise or fall significantly. It involves buying a number of options and then selling more options of the same underlying stock and expiration date, but at a different strike price. It has limited profit, but it also has unlimited risk. So it's, take, it's taken when the options trader thinks the underlying stock will experience little volatility in the near term. So it's going to hover around uh, its current price. Now let's take a look at the call ratio spread. Now this is the case where we buy a call at a strike price of A, and then we write more than one call at a strike price of B. Now you can see that if you wrote um, the same number of call options at strike price B as you wrote at A, you would get a bull spread. It would just flatten out because for every dollar you made on this call option, you'd lose a dollar on this call option. It would just flatten out. You'd get a bull spread. But here, in this case, I've really written what looks like a two to one ratio. So I bought one call here, and I wrote two calls here. So this goes down at a slope of minus one. Now you could actually have, it doesn't have to be a two to one ratio, it could be a three to one ratio, it could be a four to one ratio. If it were three to one, this would be a steeper negative slope. So the more of these you write here, the steeper it's going to be going down. And you can see it's neutral because you're looking for the price to hover around the exercise price of B. Likewise, you can do this with put options, what's referred to as a put ratio spread. Here we're going to buy a put at a strike price of B, right here, and then we're going to write more than one put at a strike price of, with an exercise price of A. And again, if you have the one to one ratio, then it's going to just flatten out here and you're going to get a bear spread. Now here again, it looks like this has a, a positive one slope so that I've written this so it's a two to one ratio. But again, it could be three to one, it could be four to one, it could be five to one. But again, it's referred to as a ratio spread because the number of options that you buy here differs from the number of options that you write here. And so we have some ratio, two to one, three to one, et cetera. Again, a neutral strategy because here you're looking for the price to hover around A. You don't expect much volatility. The current stock price is probably right around this strike price and you expect it to hover in here. Ratio back spreads, well, this is kind of the opposite of the, of the ratio spread. So this is the case where you undertake a call ratio back spread if you're bullish or a put ratio back spread if you're bearish. So here's the case where we write a call at a strike price of A and then so we get this this part here that looks like the payoff strategy for one short call and then at strike price B we buy more than one call option. And so it turns up. Again, if it were a one-to-one -one ratio, you would get here a call uh, bear spread. You would get a bear spread to go down here and then we just flatten out. So again, it looks like I've drawn this as a two-to-one ratio where you've, ri uh, you've written one call option with an exercise price of A and you've purchased two call options with an exercise price of B. And so this has a slope of positive one. And what are you looking for here? You're looking for, essentially, for it to go up quite a bit. So you're, you're um, quite bullish. But actually, if the price sort of hovers in here, you do OK. But if it hovers around B, that's where you lose your money. So you don't want the price to hover around the current exercise price. You'll make a small amount, as I've drawn it, if the price uh, falls below A, 
or stays at A, but you'll make your real money if it goes significantly higher here. And then the final one here is the put ratio backspread. So here's the case where you write a put at an exercise price of B, and you buy more than one put at a strike price of A. And again, you make your money if the price falls significantly. You lose money if the price hovers around A. Um, again, as I've drawn it, if the price goes, stays at B or above, you make a small profit. But again, the real money here is if the price falls significantly. And again, this looks like eh, roughly a two to one ratio, but it could be three to one or four to one. If it were one to one, it would flatten out here and you would have a put bull spread. So you would have a picture that went from here up and this way, so it would look like a bull spread. So again, another different strategy you can invoke using options. No, no reason you have to use a one-to-one -one ratio. You may remember the uh, straddle where you bought one put and one call with the same strike price. You could use a strip or a strap where you actually purchased more puts if you thought it was more likely to go down, rather so maybe two puts for every one call you purchased, or if you thought it was more likely to go up, you purchased two calls for every one put that you wrote, and that would make that portion of the line steeper. So again, the really interesting thing about options is it because there's, um, there's you only have to take one side of the transaction if you purchase the option. So it's the case where you can create these different kinds of payoff strategies if you combine different options or you combine them in different ratios.